It's time now for Truth or Fake, our daily fact-checking segment, and I'm joined by Catalina Marchant Diabro. Welcome to the program, Catalina. Uh, now, today we're asking the question, did the Ukrainian president, Vladimir Zelensky, buy two luxury yachts with Western aid money? Is this true or fake? At least that's what many pro-Russian accounts claim on social media as President Zelensky is accused of buying two yachts with Western aid money. Let's take a look at the claims uh, right here. Recent reports have surfaced implicating Ukrainian President Zelensky and his close associates Boris and Sergei Scherfer in the alleged purchase of two luxury yachts called Lucky Me and My Legacy for a staggering combined value of $75 million. Uh, and uh, this information is also shared by others' account on accounts on X. Uh, for instance, uh, this account called uh, Brainless uh, Partisans or uh, by UK's right-wing heritage party leader David Curtin, accounts known to regularly uh, share pro-Russian information on social media. And as proof for these claims, uh, these accounts are uh, sharing uh, the alleged sales agreement for both yachts. Here's the one uh, for a Lucky Me, uh, allegedly sold to Boris Shafir for $25 million on October 18th. And here's the sales agreement uh, uh, for... Uh, uh, sorry, excuse me, that one was for My Legacy and for Lucky Me, the one for $25 million. And My Legacy at $50 million uh, on, sold on October 25th. Uh, transactions reportedly validated, uh, as you can see right here, by the Mediterranean Yacht Brokers Association. Top. Okay, so that's the evidence that they did buy the yachts. Uh, what's the evidence that they didn't? We came uh, to the conclusion that these claims are fake and that these alleged sales agreement uh, documents are actually falsified. Uh, MYBA or the Mediterranean Yacht y y y Brokers Association, uh, th the company allegedly responsible for the sales of these yachts, uh, as noted in these documents, addressed these claims, uh, claims to our Italian uh, colleagues, uh, fact-checking colleagues at Open, saying that these documents were certainly modified and incomplete using an older version of their sales agreements from uh, 2012 information that we were able to verify here's an archive of the MYBA website from 2012 whose logo as you can see we're going to put the logos side by side is the same as the ones used in the fake claims and if we compare their current logo actually looks something like this on their website currently nowadays. Uh, moreover, cherry on the top, you can find the exact same document as they use in the fake claims, uh, available online to download for free online. This one's from February 2005, so consistent with our findings, uh, suggesting that whoever created this uh, document might have filled out these forms uh, that we can find online with falsified information. And if everyone, anyone is interested, Christmas is just around the corner because even though these claims were fake, the yachts, they are very real and they do exist. They are available for sale online. Here you have the one for My Legacy and Lucky Me on their websites of Benmar and Burgess Yachts, who also confirmed to us that no sales agreement was never registered for either. Mm. Well, I hope someone watching is thinking about what to get me for Christmas. Uh, now, <laughs> these kinds of uh, allegation of uh, corruption against the authorities in Ukraine aren't uncommon, are they? Exactly, Tom. Uh, Ukraine is often the target of this type of misinformation, uh, claiming that they are inappropriately using Western aid money, not only President Zelensky, uh, but his ministers as well. His wife, uh, the first lady of Ukraine, Elena Zelensky, is also uh, a, a target of this type of misinformation, often accused of exorbitant spending using Western aid money. For instance, uh, she was accused of uh, going on a $40,000 uh, spending spree in Paris or spending uh, $1 million in a Cartier store in New York. Uh, but since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the Western aid money that Ukraine benefits from uh, is rigorously a monitor to avoid this type of inappropriate use, notably uh, by the European Anti-Fraud Office, the U.S. Department of State, and the U.S. Agency for International Development, in which no yet related expense is recorded. Okay, well, thank you very much indeed for that. Catalina Marchandiebro with today's edition of Truth or Fake. Thank you.